Hello everyone, welcome back to Kenshi. Uh, so last time, uh, throughout most of the last week or so in game, uh, we've spent our time in the deserts around Bark, uh, mostly leveling up our combat skills. Uh, so we're in a pretty good position right now. Uh, 25 toughness is great. Uh, we're in the 20s for melee attack, melee defense. Uh, Dexterity, Katanas, they're fine. They're approaching 20. Uh, Athletic 63. Uh, that's going to be great for our speed and movement. Uh, kind of at the end of the day, we were briefly caught by uh, um, slave hunters. Uh, enslaved just briefly until Sans came to the rescue. Uh, but that leaves us in this kind of awkward position uh, that we're technically considered an escaped slave. Uh, which is illegal. We're currently undiscovered, uh, so chances are the guards won't notice and we can pass unhindered. Uh, but I think any NPC has a chance to discover us, uh, and then we'll be considered seen, uh, and we'll be hostile to guards uh, and most of the anti-slaver or the most of the slaver factions. So we're going to want to skip town, uh, which is something we wanted to do anyways. Uh, this is kind of a dead end city up here. So we're going to make our way south down the coast. Uh, and just see, you know, see what's out there. See if there's a place with any more opportunity. Uh, but we have to be cognizant of our uh, former slave status. Is any place that's too populated uh, could be an issue with this because we don't want to be caught. Honestly, the safest thing we could do uh, would be to leave United Cities territory altogether. Uh, but that either means we move west, past the wastelands to the cannibal zones, or the Holy Nation. Uh, or move all the way south, down here. Uh, which is quite a trek. Uh, and Merseco wouldn't really know the lay of the land that well. Uh, so we're going to have to try to try to keep our head low. Uh, and we'll just stick around somewhere somewhere within the United Cities territory until we can run this clock out. Normally this isn't a problem if you have a squad. If you have one or two people with the tag, uh, but you got your own base, or even you have a smaller group of people that you can still go out and do stuff with, uh, you just stash them in a house or in your, in your settlement or whatever, uh, and it's no problem. But since our primary character has it, uh, and we have, we have goals, a little more awkward. We could just stock up on food, lock ourselves in that shack, and wait out four days. Uh, but that's boring. So let's have to take it outside and uh, risk it a little bit. So we don't really need to, but if we find any uh, choice combat options, you know, handful of uh, outlaws, little man hunters, uh, we can still take the chance to fight. But we did uh, pretty good, pretty good growth last time, so we don't really need to worry about it. Probably some bounty hunters. Yep. Bounty hunters often travel with bone dogs, like uh, the outlaws do. Uh, but they don't have the straw hats, so they're a little differently armored. We found Port South, uh, and if it's anything like Port North, it's probably just going to be a slave war camp. So it'll be a good place to avoid for now. Yeah, the gate is uh, guarded by uh, slavers. And you can see there's a few slave shops. Uh, they have these prisoner cages on the roof. Yeah, nothing for us here. A uh, handful of vagrants over there. You see a city out, uh, or looks like a city, and out on the horizon there. 
rising over the dunes. Looks like a couple towers, so it might be might be worth checking out. Well, this is not too populated. Uh, like we only have a one percent chance, uh, but when there's you know thirty or forty people around, easily lead to problems. These guys want some, so you know we'll give them what for. Sometimes you have a chance to talk uh, to starving factions when they before they attack you, uh, and if you give give them some food, they'll uh, back off. You don't have a ton of spare food, uh, and these guys are really too weak to be bothered by. This guy doesn't even have a weapon, uh, so we can just quickly handle them. Sands took a few hits, uh, Steko came out fine, uh, but we'll just bandage up the dog and head out again. Some more vagrants over there. I'll probably run into those bounty hunters, we'll just let them mop up. Bounty hunters probably could detect us. Not sure if it's proximity based uh, or just line of sight based. Because if we hit sneak, well, they don't actually see us. Uh, if they're looking our direction, uh, the eye would turn yellow to red. Yellow if we're almost seen, red if we are. They're not paying attention. Uh, but that wouldn't be a safe distance. The next slave. Uh, a slave hunter, no less. So these were one of the guys, you know, maybe not this guy in particular, uh, that caught us earlier. Kind of put us in this mess. Not really too happy about them. And honestly, probably did the kind of the United Cities populace a favor. Slavers are bad enough, but they're no better than bandits at the same time. Yeah, I still have a bit of a tower poking out there. What is likely a uh, city? Outlaws. Yeah, that group's too big for us to handle, so we'll give them space. Oh, that looks like a camp. Right blind, they run into it. Yeah. We have a camp here. Uh, it's probably... Yeah, it's an outlaw camp. Uh, so the various uh, kind of minor factions and pop-up camps uh, just kind of randomly scattered throughout the territory they patrol in. Generally, it's these hostile factions, uh, outlaws, bandits, and so forth. Uh, but there are some neutral ones, or even friendly ones, uh, that kind of patrol areas uh, that you can run into camps for. We could wipe it out. Uh, chances are there's a couple with a bounty in there. But they can typically grow in the size of 20, 30 people. Plus patrols that are kind of assigned there. So you could start fighting. There might only be 10 in there at the time. But as the fight goes on, one of the patrols might return and bring in an extra 10 or 15. Either way, the numbers are too high for us to deal with. Got some skimmers coming in from the east there. This will have to kind of break off from the coast a little bit. And it looks like we're leaving kind of the desert. So maybe we'll explore this rocky area a little bit before we head to town. We should have food for a while. I uh, probably should have bought more to be honest. Dried meat doesn't really last us too long. 
And if we can't scavenge any uh, defeated skimmers, we might be a little low. Uh, and that'll just force it force us to head into town to resupply. Which we should uh, try to minimize. We'll go get eyes on this town first, maybe pop it up onto the map. Discovered heft. Yeah, so we got a large, large city over here. Dust storm making it a little bit hard to see it, but much. Looks like some some sort of trading caravan over there. Nothing to worry about unless the Outis has escaped slaves. Mers over here. We'll even more. Oh, here's the gate. Okay. So no one to head into town quite yet. Scope it out from the outside first. Oh, faction throne. So this is the capital of the United Cities. A variety of shops. Only oh, have a noble house too. Uh, we got a bar, got a second bar, bakery. We got some skimmers coming up the hill, so we'll try to avoid them. Uh, an armory run by the tech hunters. That might actually have some interesting stuff. Uh, and travel gear run by the tech hunters. Eve's Guild, the general. They have a lot of good shops in here, uh, if we want to risk moving into town. I don't know if I want to yet. Uh, maybe we can pillage these skimmers, wherever they got launched to. Well, not very far. Well, maybe we'll do that anyways. Uh, just grab some meat. Uh, spend some more time in the desert. So we got some food for a while. Some sand ninjas. Uh, one on one, we'd be fine. Uh, but three of them would be a bit much for us. Big skimmer fight over here. Getting uh, starving vagrants. Oh, and some garls were involved too. Wouldn't have anything worth taking. So let's head out west a little bit. Try to get on the high ground. Take a look around. Good line of sight everywhere. Oh, it looks like we have a city. I don't know if it'll come through, but it looks like there's a couple towers jetting up. Uh, just northwest a little bit. Might as well map that out as well, while we're moving around. Still got a lot of skimmers out here. Oh, and there's a big batch of them. So we'll have to watch out for them. Oh, yeah, definitely a city coming in. Oh, and something that way as well. Obatai. So we got another large United Cities uh, settlement over here. I think we'll scope it out all the same.
We're still taking away our slave counter, so that's good. Be a lot easier to move around once that goes. A uh, little easier to get into these cities. We can probably get into the gate once or twice, uh, but once we get into the bars uh, and the shops where there are a lot more people, uh, that 1% chance of being detected is going to add up quite a bit. Okay, you no know, skimmers around. Uh, police station. So we could bring bounties here. Uh, another thieves tower. Bakery. Slave shop. Got a bar. Noble house. Uh. So another another wide variety of uh, services in there. Let's check out this one in the distance. Maybe there's another one even farther past. I guess if we can't go into town uh, right now, we can still map out the desert. Stone camp. Okay, this is probably a slave war camp. Noble house, slaver bar, yep. So just like Port North and Port South, it's a war camp. Not going to have any services even if we wanted to go in there. Discovered Stoat. It looks like we have another camp uh, just off to the side somewhere. Uh, more outlaws. Mercenaries on the other side. Could probably attack some outlaws and fight them into the mercenaries. I don't want to risk it right now. I think we'll just loop around Stoat and uh, take a quick look at it. 60 hours left, so we've dropped about 20 hours on the slave clock. So some benefit of just running the desert, uh, exploring. Another big city. Probably has a little bit of everything. Clothing shop might be uh, might be kind of interesting if they have Hiver shirts. Uh, so we have one inventory slot empty still for shirts. Uh, and Hivers can use it, but they can't use regular items in that slot. Uh, there's hiver specific here but because there are hivers in the united cities uh, might be a chance that that shop has something that we can use you've got a building way up on the, the hills over there just one building though it doesn't look like a full settlement You can probably loop by and check it out. Probably a faction, like a minor faction headquarters. It's all alone like that. Big patrol of outlaws. We'll leave them for the time being. Oh, these outlaws found us. Well, I don't mind. Yeah, we probably can't outrun them. Uh, they run 16 miles per hour. Sands is still 12, so quite slow. Mersteco would have no issue outrunning that. Uh, but Sands will slow us down. They might... I just have Sands run. Uh, Mersteco will... Uh, keep their attention. 
Hopefully. This isn't a fight Mistake was going to win, not by a long shot. Yeah, we're not too much stronger than any individual farmer. Uh, just with these numbers, uh, we can't be expected to win that. Oh, the other dog's coming. A little bit annoying. At least we had the uh, the outlaw turn back. Spine Canyon. Our stake was still up, taking quite a lot of damage. He held on a lot longer than I thought he would. We might be able to get up with this uh, this amount of damage. Okay, what's this dog? An adult dog, probably too much for our pup to deal with. Okay, so Mistake will survive. He's just playing dead. Uh, we can pop him up once the uh, outlaws get lost. We just got this one here stealing our food. Whatever, we'll just have to deal with it. This dog is persistent. Okay, he's going away. We'll be able to get up shortly. Start bandaging. Okay. Some garros. Coast is clear. So let's bandage up the head uh, before it gets much worse than it is. Uh, didn't take any critical damage, really. So we should be okay shape. Won't be able to fight this dog though, so we're going to have to find a way to deal with him. Uh, medic, come on. Lure him to some skimmers or another faction, that would be great. Even at full strength, I think this dog would be more than enough to handle Mersteko one-on-one. So we don't want it to come to that. Got some fighting over here, though. Oh, those Garos. Probably won't be able to make use of that. Is this a camp? No. It wasn't a camp that we just blindly walked through. And our stake was hobbling at not a great speed. At least he can move. Is a dog coming to us? Yeah, it looks like it for some reason. Well, we might have to approach civilization again. Uh, we are out of food, and this dog is being a little bit more persistent than I would like. Don't stop. Nothing's getting worse, worse at least, so we're not going to bleed out. I've got some skimmers a little far away. We have over there vagrants. Wouldn't mind them if we could use them as a distraction for the dog. Uh, we could either run, and Sands could probably handle those three. Where are we heading? We're not heading any direction we want to head.
And I think with the injuries we have, we're going to have to risk heading into town for a while. Well, finally, he's gone. That was very persistent. They don't usually last that long on chase. Well, let's... The coast is clear. Let's uh, deal with our injuries. We're going to be hungry soon. We're both getting hungry. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to walk into town unless we chance upon a skimmer that's been defeated. So you still try Stoat. That's our closest. Well, and that's a big, big herd of skimmers. It's almost night. Uh, so we have to go into stealth mode. You know, might be enough to get past some skimmers if they get too close. Yeah, getting hungry. Pretty beat up. We're gonna have to risk going into town. If we sneak into a bar, find some beds and just crash there. Skimmer on this side. Yeah, we'll just risk the uh, front gate here. Let's find the bar ahead of time. I'm having a bit of trouble finding it. Oh, here it is. Where are we? Oh, yeah, it's right across town. Uh, actually, we'll... We'll come around. I don't th think the skimmer will see us. Not a roofed bar, unfortunately. That'll possibly keep us a little bit in the open and viewable. That's the best place, or the best this place has. Grab some food first. Buy a stack of the usual. So we'll be here for a bit. Hopefully we'll stay undiscovered and burn this timer a little. Hey, we're back to full. Uh, still undiscovered. Still have two full days left. It's almost morning, so we could uh, wait for that. Check out some of these shops. Clothing shop might have something. Maybe the general shop. Uh, one thing would be nice to have would be a backpack uh, that would increase uh, our inventory quite substantially. Uh, in particular, I would be looking for a thieves backpack, uh, which doesn't have the same inventory uh, addition that the larger ones do, uh, but the other ones have pretty hefty combat penalties, uh, and the thief, thief backpacks have uh, little to none usually. And at this point, we don't really want to uh, lose combat stats if we can avoid it. 
won't have that many to lose. Okay, things are opening up. We're still undiscovered, uh, so let's make a run for it. Uh, before that, let's uh, restock up on some food. I'll stick to the usual for now. So this guy's got a pretty wide selection of light armor uh, and a lot of clothing slots, but unfortunately no Iver shirts. And probably nothing really to look at more than uh, our ninja rags. I think these traders leathers are half decent. Yeah, the resistance is about the same as ours, but their arm coverage is slightly less. You have 60 on each, this is 10 and 50. Good stomach and chest, but so do these. This provides a little bit of head armor, uh, which is great since we don't have a helmet to deal with that. So we'll stick with these rags. Uh, pants, these are high, high grade. They do quite a lot more uh, resistance, 28, 26 versus 11, 17. So maybe that's something worth worth looking at. Uh, yeah, but right now I think we'll just stick with what we have. Let's just uh, leave the closest gate. Uh, what out our next moves? Be a nice vagrant fight out here. Only five of them. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but maybe we should avoid any unnecessary damage. Nope, looks like they're, uh, they're coming anyways. No one, no one we can talk to. Uh, so let's get into a fight. I'm not worried about these guys at all. Do, do decent damage to sand still, unfortunately. A bit of a damage magnet. Oh, they're really... Really taking it to him. The arm damage. Right arm. That's kind of annoying. Because uh, that is the weapon arm. But he should uh, manage this without issue. Where are you going? Oh, okay. He's playing limbs. That's his current uh, current goal, uh, which means one of these one of these guys lost a limb. Yeah, this guy. Okay. So Sans took this guy's leg off. Maybe Mersteko did with his sword. Yeah. Okay. Use your med kit, please. Yeah, you have a med kit, don't you? He's got the limb, he's just going to run around for a bit, and then uh, play fetch. Yeah, let's bring him back. We'll need to bandage him up. His leg is getting a bit worse. And he's slow enough as is. 
Okay, stop. Why are you not... Okay, we're just going to wait for him to finish because he's not staying still. That's fine. There we go. So he's done with the leg. We can bring him back and bandage him up. Now that that's out of the way, uh, what do we have left on the clock? 41 hours. So let's head to this uh, rocky area on the east again, where we were attacked by those outlaws, uh, and kind of continue southward from there. We're a bit beat up, uh, but if we're a little more careful to avoid outlaws and the like, uh, we shouldn't get any worse. And we'll just run out the clock while we're uh, waiting out here. So we're approaching the uh, solitary building we saw earlier. Discovered Tengu's vault. Oh, and we ran into some sand ninjas. Can't see where they're going in the sandstorm. So Tengu is the current emperor of the United Cities. Okay, here we go. Sandstorm broke. Uh, sand ninjas are following us. I'm thinking a place called Tengu's Vault. Uh, Probably got some valuable stuff in there. Not that we're going to make use of that, uh, but it probably has guards. Maybe we can get these sand ninjas to leave us alone. Yeah, they're still coming. They are right on our tail. Looks like some guards coming out to patrol. Yeah, we'll use them against the ninjas if if they're not coming after us. Yeah, they're not. Okay, so let's get it, let's jump on these ninjas too. No problem with the guards. Uh, the skimmers, though, I don't want to be part of that fight. Oh, they're taking him away. So let's loot while you have the chance. Oh, there you are. Way ahead of me. Sans took another beating from those uh, ninjas unfortunate. He takes a bit longer to recover. Oh, here's one. If I try to steal from him, he might wake up. Leave me alone. Yeah, how did those guards get down here? Yeah, we are not going to get involved with that one. Skimmers are just far too dangerous for us right now. Oh, 
we're gonna go for the free lunch. So they're taking the uh, ninjas inside, but it makes me think they have a prison or something in there. Do not approach, Romer. High security zone, leave immediately. Okay, fair enough. There will be no other warning. Well, they served their purpose. We got rid of the ninjas that were following us. Yeah, wandering shinobi. Uh, another advantage, if we did join the Thieves Guild, uh, we run into these wandering assassins all over the world. Uh, and they're quite quite powerful, 4941. Uh, if we join them, they're considered allied to us, uh, so they will basically spring into action whenever we're in any sort of fight nearby. Fighting bandits, fighting animals. I'll be fighting like the United Cities, uh, and they would pop in. Where? I guess let's just cut to the east. 34 hours, so at least we're getting a little bit of work done. Oh, there's some skimmers. Uh, Bounty Hunters, please come back. Yeah. Maybe the Samurai. We'll get them involved again. There we go. cheesy, but they're just doing their job. We won't get any closer, because I don't know uh, if or when those guys will be antagonized, but... Definitely use them if, they, if, we, need to, or if we need to. This guy's lootable. Let's just finish him off. Camp from down here. Yeah, like I was saying, we'll move east. Uh, will things start getting too dangerous? And at least exploring the desert uh, is a side. Jesus, is a bit of a side benefit. Uh, didn't want to spend all day doing nothing. Uh, it's too risky to go into towns with this. Holy nation. You guys are a bit far from home. So the Holy Nation territory typically ends kind of around here. Uh, they've got some big military bases here along the border. Kind of surprised to see a full, uh, full army of them over here. Those skimmers did a number on them, too. Uh, we'll leave them alone. The paladins. Uh, outside the sandstorm, they're quite powerful. The, uh, the monks, the guys in the robes, uh, we can handle them. But fortunately, it's not just the two of them. Two peasants with bounties out here. Just wandering. They're at range that we could uh, take them down and arrest them. Uh, but I don't think Merseiko has much reason to do that. They're just minding their own business. As we're moving east, we have another, looks like a city popping into view. I 
think I know what this one is, uh, but we'll just move in a bit closer. Just over a day left. Discovered hang. Yeah, hang and trader's edge. Well, this is like a dual city. Uh, another city for the United Cities, uh, but it's also the capital of the Traders Guild. So it's got a big trading hub uh, kind of attached to it as well. It's uh, quite populated. I don't want to go into it quite yet. We only got one day left, and I don't want to. I don't want to get caught this late. Who do we have down here? Oh, wandering assassin. Just moving eastward past Heft. Uh, we'll try to cut to the coast again. Maybe take a peek around here. Time is slowly ticking down. We're less than a day. It's a little inconvenient. Okay, howler maze. So, run into some new animals around here. Uh, crabs. They're big crabs. Uh, and like most animals, not something we want to get involved with. Uh, we got some interesting ruins here. Uh, definitely not local to the time period. Looks like there's a few more down there. Uh, I think this whole region is going to be outside of our pay grade. Uh, so we're not going to dig too far into it. Oh, we got some rain. It's the first time Merseko uh, would have been in any rain since he left Vane. Uh, quite rainy in his homeland there. Uh, but of course he spent nothing but time in the desert since. The so rains would have been few and far between. Maybe he sees this place as a potential place to set up a home. You know, we got red waters. I don't know if they're acidic. Uh, I need if I need non-hivers, it'd be easy to check because they would uh, not be impressed. Uh, but hivers are immune to the acid rain and acid waters, so we wouldn't even know the difference. Discovered South Stone Camp. Okay, good chance this is just another uh, slave camp. Looks like some manhunters. <clears throat> more slavers. And unfortunately, nothing we can really do about that at the time being. Okay, so we're running by uh, Peng. We're getting jumped by some uh, city heroes. 
Uh, looking at their stats, probably not much of a problem. Uh, we've been on the road long enough that we've mostly recovered. Uh, this hero boss is quite strong. 49 strength. Uh, combat's nothing too exciting. So this might be a fight we can handle. Uh, otherwise, the guards are, you know, a distance away in pretty shitty terrain. So I think we'll make our way actually nowhere, because we have a patrol of samurai right here. So if these guys jump us... Uh, we'll, uh... Yeah, we're in safe. Yeah, so they're going to go at us a little bit. Uh, oh, here we go. Out come their weapons. Yeah, and the samurai jump in immediately. So yeah, this is good. As long as these samurai guards don't immediately spot us as a slave, uh, we're good. Less than 12 hours now. Take a bit of damage, but we might be able to sneak into hang. Uh, find a secluded bar somewhere, uh, and just raid off the rest of our time as we're recovering. Sentence as usual took a bit of damage. No armor, no real dodge to speak of. Uh, but he dishes out a lot of damage at the same time. Okay, we're bandaged up. Uh, let's see if they have any goodies for us. Use a new first aid kit. Pretty shoddy level gear, though. Eh, mercenary, le mer mercenary leather armor isn't terrible. Uh, we don't want it. It's a little heavy for us. But it's 700 cats. Uh, Sans is hungry. Let's quickly feed him. Yeah, we have 10 hours left. I think we'll try to make it into hang. Reorient ourselves. Uh, and I think we're close enough now that we can burn off the rest of this time limit. Coming up to the front gates. Uh, need to check your belongings, Romer. Empty your personal items for inspection. Uh, narcotics. Well, looks like we got a smuggler. Our town doesn't take too kindly to smugglers. You're going to be taking a long time in the cages for this. Uh, so this guy's planted it on us. Uh, Well, can't go to his inventory bar right now, but obviously we weren't carrying anything illegal. Haven't had the chance. Uh, can play dumb. Uh, probably call him out as a setup. Uh, so what do you want from me then? Smuggling is a serious crime. You could spend a long time in the cells for this, but you seem like a sharp man. Pay the fine, we'll call it a day. It's only 2,000 cats. Uh, really our only choice right now. Uh, either that or get a beat down and spend some time in jail. Uh, so I think we'll just deal with the 2,000 cats uh, and get on with it. But already we're getting a bad first impression of Hang. Kind of the United Cities in general. Early on we ran into that one, uh, one patrol that helped us out a little bit with the uh, free food. Kind of losing, losing out on the rest of our interactions with them. So we've got some drifters. Uh, a lot of hivers, actually. Sell off that armor. 
I guess we got a sword too. Let's, uh. Yeah, we'll keep the crappy sword. Uh, and let's go upstairs. 150, no problem. Nine hours left. I think we're gonna burn through this. Uh, we should be pretty well hidden up here. There's only a handful of drifters. So if they don't spot us, we'll be in the clear. So while we're just kind of resting, we'll take a look around town here. Uh, we have another bar. Uh, weapon shop, police station, mechanical shop, uh, clothing shop. Uh, another, yeah, another Shinobi tower. They're pretty predominant, or they're pretty... Uh, pretty common around here. Somebody saw us. Not sure if that's going to matter. Hold on, 84 seconds, 5 hours left. So I think we'll keep stick to the plan, let this 5 hours uh, go down. Wonder. I had to have been one of those two. I think we'll chill. Uh, we, yeah, we've only got a few hours left. We'll see what happens when this uh, drops down. Hopefully it just clears the status altogether. We don't have any guard presence in the area, so even though that we've been discovered, uh, until the guard sees us, nothing's going to happen. Was it you? Traitorous Hiver. Uh, on the other side, we have uh, the Traders Guild, Faction HQ. Among other things, they run the slave trade in the United Cities. Uh, but they have their fingers in basically all economic activity. Uh, got some houses for sale. A bank. Uh, I think we can take a loan. Uh, we're so inclined, uh, but we're not. One hour left, so hopefully this will solve our problems and we can get back to uh, in a bug's life.